In the quiet corners of hardware stores and tucked beneath kitchen sinks across the world lies a curious material, humble, silvery, and unassuming, steel wool. It's soft enough to shred with your fingers, yet born from one of the hardest substances on earth. It scrubs, it polishes, and under the right conditions, it burns. But before we marvel at its flammable nature, we must first understand its transformation, how raw, unyielding steel becomes a delicate web of metal threads. What strange machines and clever engineering make this possible? And how does something forged in fire end up bursting into flame once more, with just a spark? We must ask a deeper question. How is something so tough transformed into something so fine? Today, we journey into the heart of the process, into steel mills, machinery, and metallurgical precision, right here on History of Simple Things. The journey of steel wool begins not in the aisles of domestic utility, but at the furnace, a place where raw metal is born from ore. Steel, a robust alloy of iron and carbon, is first smelted in blast furnaces at temperatures soaring beyond 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Here, iron ore, limestone, and coke are combined in a molten crucible, releasing impurities and creating the strong, flexible metal we call steel. This molten mass is then cast into large billets, cooled, and rolled into long rods or sheets. But what transforms this hardened material into a gossamer tangle of metallic hair? The secret lies in precision shaving, a process that requires control, finesse, and an understanding of steel's every grain. Once cooled and cut, the steel enters the next phase of its transformation, shredding. High carbon steel rods or sheets are loaded into specialized machines equipped with fine high-speed cutters. These machines slice the metal into micro-thin filaments each barely thicker than a human hair. The strands coil and twist, forming a dense, tangled mass that is gradually gathered into pads or rolls. Each filament retains the strength of steel, but is now flexible, splintery, and razor-edged. During this process, various grades of steel wool are created, ranging from coarse for heavy-duty scraping to ultra-fine for polishing delicate surfaces. This grading isn't merely about texture, it's about application, and in some cases, flammability. The final product is then packaged according to its intended use. Some batches are destined for woodworkers, others for metal polishers or painters preparing surfaces. But beyond its industrial and domestic function lies a fascinating scientific quirk, steel wool's ability to burn. On the surface, this seems absurd. Steel is metal. It should resist fire, not embrace it. And yet, when touched by a flame or a battery's charge, steel wool can glow with ferocious intensity. This isn't magic, it's oxidation in one of its most visible forms. To understand why steel wool burns, we must return to the fundamentals of combustion. Fire is not a substance, it's a reaction, specifically a rapid oxidation process where a material combines with oxygen to release heat and light. Most metals do oxidize, but slowly. Iron rusts over months or years. However, when iron is presented in extremely thin strands, like those in steel wool, the surface area exposed to oxygen increases dramatically. Each filament acts like a wick, ready to engage in rapid localized oxidation. When ignited, the iron atoms in steel wool react quickly with oxygen, releasing energy in the form of glowing heat. In essence, Steel wool burns because it's finely divided, allowing the metal to oxidize as rapidly as wood shavings or paper. The effect is mesmerizing. A flame touches the steel wool and it doesn't melt. It crackles, glows, and dances with orange embers. In zero gravity, it forms sparks like floating stars. When connected to the terminals of a 9-volt battery, the current heats the thin wires past their ignition point, and combustion begins almost instantly. The burning filaments don't explode, they shimmer in a controlled chain reaction, reminiscent of fireworks in miniature. And yet, this is still steel, the same metal that supports skyscrapers and anchors ships, 
The only difference is its size, its exposure to air, its intimacy with oxygen. While it may seem like a parlor trick, the burning of steel wool has real scientific value. In classrooms, it vividly demonstrates oxidation and the conservation of mass as the iron reacts with oxygen to form iron oxide. What begins as soft, silvery strands ends as brittle, darkened rust, a transformation that makes chemistry tangible and unforgettable. Yet steel wool's fiery nature also has practical limitations and risks. While it's safe in its packaging, improper use, especially around open flames or electrical sources, can lead to fires. Outdoorsmen, however, often use it to their advantage. Combined with a battery, steel wool becomes an emergency fire starter. In wilderness survival, when dry kindling is scarce, these metallic threads can save lives. It's a tool of contradiction industrial yet elemental, safe yet dangerous, mundane yet extraordinary. Its applications stretch far beyond the kitchen sink. Artists use it in sculpture. Photographers wield it to create hypnotic long exposure shots of flying sparks. It even finds use in pest control, stuffed into small holes to prevent rodents from chewing through. The steel wool doesn't kill, but its abrasive texture is intolerable to tiny teeth and claws. And in metallurgy and surface engineering, fine-grade steel wool is used to buff, clean, and prepare surfaces for coatings, ensuring proper adhesion and finish. In the end, steel wool stands as a testament to material science and human ingenuity, a simple idea executed with precision and adaptability. From the blast furnace to the cleaning cabinet, it carries with it the legacy of craftsmanship and chemistry. And in its burning, it reveals an elegant truth that even the hardest substances, when reduced to their smallest threads, can ignite like dry grass. It's not just a cleaning tool, it's a microcosm of energy, oxidation, and transformation. So the next time you hold a bundle of steel wool, Remember what lies within, not just fine filaments of metal, but the story of steel itself, melted, shaved, and repurposed. And if you light it, do so with care, for you are not simply starting a fire. You are witnessing the dance of oxygen and iron, a phenomenon hidden in plain sight, crackling with the secrets of science and the art of metallurgy. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.